buddies welcome back to another video it's royal and today we will be unboxing this lg34 uc98 ultra out monitor so um i picked up an ultra out monitor i always wanted to try one for for some time now but my dual wheel i'm <laughs> my dual monitor setup um it did me good for a while but Seeing as though I just recently built my first brand new PC from the bottom up, I decided to go ahead and pick up a new monitor to pair with that PC. So if you haven't checked out that video on my new, on my first new PC build, go ahead, um, hit the link in the description or hit up, hit this card at the top of the screen. So, um, my, if you have watched the video, you know that my new PC is predominantly white. So, um... I came across this ultra wide monitor. Uh, it was kind of like it wasn't difficult to find a a monitor that was white, but I came across this one and looked at the specs, looked at everything, and it pretty much is a good fit. So this is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, the resolution is 3440 by 1440p. Also an IPS display. So. Um, I don't think this monitor has like any gaming capable, well, it can be used for gaming, but I don't think the intended use for this monitor was gaming. Um, it has over 99% uh, sRGB color gamut range. Uh, let me go ahead and do this first. This monitor is pretty. <laughs> Here's the panel, along with the stand, I believe. Yeah. So here's the panel. It's CD for the drivers, instructions, warranty stuff, documentation. Uh, the AC power adapter, and two cables. Uh, it looks like. HDMI and display port. So I don't know which number it might be. HDMI one. I don't. I don't know. I have to check. My cheaper monitors. One of these monitors came with, or both monitors came with, an aux port. So I don't know. Not an aux port, but auxiliary cords. So I'm surprised this one then. And seeing as though these are cheaper, but it is what it is. So. Go ahead and put the stand on. So it's two screws to tighten up. The other's got one. So, and I'm liking the fact that these cables are white and most of the walk, most of the monitor is white. The, the back of the monitor is white, the cables are white. The stand is white, most of the stand is white. Um, except for the silver base but the back of the stand is predominantly white so this is VESA compatible so that's a good thing because I plan on mounting this to my arm stand all right let's go ahead and flip this over and attach the stand where did I put this okay, let's go ahead and flip this over so from my understanding this is this has height adjustment and tilt however and of, of course, it does not pivot. I, I wouldn't even expect it to pivot, seeing as though it's an ultra wide, and I, I, there's no way you can pivot it unless the height of the stand was really something serious. So <laughs> that's not the case here. So I like how they wrap this completely. Uh, where I need something scissors. Cut this plastic off. Oh, don't need it. So let's go ahead and attach the stand. Seeing as though that space is opened up, and like every other monitor, every modern monitor, it should just click on, and it does. So here we go. Woo. 
if y'all want to see a complete a complete review of the monitor after like some weeks or about a month or two of me and my experience with this monitor let me know in the comment section and i'll keep that in mind <laughs> let me go ahead and adjust this height it's okay just by me doing that it's super easy to adjust the height it's a nice slide action no hesitation so with all that being said everything should be good all right let's go ahead and <laughs> that was a fail <laughs> That's all that time we have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please share, like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. You know, like I said, thank you again for watching. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Be easy.